Hey everyone and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Dario and I've been making videos mainly about LogSeq or only about LogSeq, but I'm hoping to branch off a little bit more and bring in different elements that I've found in personal and professional life. So today I'm gonna to look at how you use plugins in LogSeq and I'm gonna be doing so using Cannibalox's Kanban example. He made one of the very first plugins for LogSeq, so I'm gonna be diving into that and then use that as a segue to look at how I think about using other programs for Kanban. So finding the right tool for the right job and veering a little bit away from LogSeq into Airtable, which is another great database uh, platform and works well for, for Kanban for me. I'm doing this introduction after the fact, after having my girlfriend very graciously review my first draft and the feedback there was like, what the heck is a Kanban? So I'm just going to dive into a little bit of that now. It's not on the framework, but looking at why one would actually want to use a Kanban. So Kanban is a project management framework that is traditionally used in Agile and DevOps. And it consists of these columns and the traditional columns are to do, doing, done. And the idea is that you write your tasks down, you have a full list of tasks and you then move them between the columns. So like you can allocate work and say task one, give it to this person and then I move it to doing. And then when that task is done, I move it to done. So the program that I'm using here is Miro, just a great visual program. And I'm not going to get too much into it, but it's this idea of just moving things across. And this helps to A, visualize your work and B, minimize your work in progress. And, th and those are two principles that are really held high by the Agile slash Scrum slash DevOps community. So that is what Kanban is. It is just this visual framework for moving or for, for managing your tasks and, and moving it through the different stages of work. I think a great place to start is to plug in or not to plug in. And now this is the question of what is a plugin? A plugin is a software package that extends the core functionality of the program. So if you are familiar with Obsidian, as a lot of people are, there are a lot of plugins in Obsidian and they just extend this core functionality of a network note-taking program and add visual elements to it and allow you to do different things like mind mapping and, and, and great things. So it just takes the out of the box program and makes it a little bit better. And this is one of the things that actually stopped me from using Obsidian in the beginning because I didn't know how to work with the program and I couldn't really figure things out. And I was like, do I need this plugin? Do I want that plugin? So my preference is to actually have something that works straight out of the box, which is why I started using LogSeq. But now LogSeq has developed a plugin marketplace and allows developers to develop plugins that are not necessarily on the marketplace, as I'll show. And I've had a few requests about plugins and I thought it might be a great way just to explore and actually use this as a segue into Kanbans. So disclaimers on this, you can see there, back up your files. Uh, plugins require you to put on developer settings and things can go haywire. And this is also done at own risk. So any plugins that you will download will be coded by someone else. And at the moment, they are not really core plugins per se. It's just people that have released them um, on GitHub or on the plugin marketplace, which is one of the latest features on the new LogSeq releases. So this is not a space that I know well. I don't, I can read code a little bit, but I haven't read through Cannibalox's code when looking at his Kanban example. I just trust him as he's been part of the Discord community from the very beginning. And yeah, so the two ways of going about this, as I said, you can download it from GitHub or you can use the new LogSeq plugin marketplace. So I'm going to start with the loading it from GitHub. So what does that look like? So I've gone to Cannibalox's profile on GitHub and you can see he's also doing some work on Obsidian. So a lot of people are working across both platforms. They really are really cool to use together. And the one that I'm going to go to here is Log Tools. That's tools and plugins for LogSeq. And you can see here his CSS mods for Kanban or Columns View or the Eisenhower Matrix. So in order to get this plugin, what I do is I just go to code and I say download zip. So super simple. And there is a log tools downloading. Okay, so now in my downloads folder, I've got this zipped file and I need to go and extract it. And I just 
use that menu and then extract to that file over there. I've already done that, so let me not do it again. If I go back to LogSeq now, what I need to do is change my settings to go to enable developer mode. So if I go to settings and then I go to advanced, I have to switch on developer mode. It says there you need to restart the app to enable the plugin system. Do you want to restart it now? Okay, yes. If I go back to LogSeq, I can access my plugins menu now because I've put on develop mode. So if I go to plugins, I now can unload that unpacked plugin. So if I go there, I go into my log tools main, and then I go to the CSS productivity pack and I select that folder and there we go. I now have that plugin. And the other way I, or the other way of getting a plugin is to use this plugin marketplace. So if I now select this plugin marketplace, there's a few new ones here. I haven't tried many of them. I briefly tried this tabs one, but I haven't installed it now. If I go to install, that will install those two plugins. So I've now got this tabs plugin installed and I've got Cannabaloxes uh, productivity pack plugin installed as well. I'm now gonna go back to my bed database and play around with these things. So you can already see here, I've got this tab feature up here, which is that second plugin, which I downloaded. If I just go to another graph page, let me see, and I just control click on some of these old ones, which have been in previous videos, you can see that I'm now opening these various tabs and I can just click between the tabs, which is great. That's a super cool thing. I have noticed in my personal database when I did this that things got a little bit slower. It might have just been something that I did specifically in my own database, but just a bit of a heads up, you know, great feature though. So you can use that to open multiple tabs. And I think a lot of people use a similar feature in Obsidian just so you can have multiple windows open. Although you can always just escape TR and open the right sidebar as well so that you can also work in multiple panes. So many ways to achieve the same outcome. Now looking at the Kanban workflow, I'm just going to close these ones and I'm actually just also going to turn that plugin off. Um, let me just turn that off. So that's no longer functional. And now I'm going to go to my that same page that I was on. So I'm going to open another page, which will be my Kanban example. Let me just say Kanban example. So the way that Cannibal Ox's, Cannibal Ox's Kanban plugin works is that you, it needs to operate on one block. So let's use this as Kanban tasks. And that is my block. And then let me use to do, doing, done. Can we just make those bold? Bold. Those are your traditional sort of Kanban columns because you know Kanban is just moving things through the columns. And let me just add a little bit more here to be creative. Uh, let's say backlog and someday maybe. That's one of the GTD frameworks. So I'm just gonna take two minutes to quickly populate this. Okay, so I've run out of creativity here and let me just zoom in a little bit there. Uh, a few people keep telling me to zoom in. So sorry to those who weren't able to see that. And the way I convert this to the Kanban view is I use hashtag v dot Kanban. There we go, already done. And voila, it converts it into this Kanban. And now I can do this thing of dragging and dropping just by clicking on the bullet points. So build a house, I can then move it to backlog and finish task. And then I can move it to doing and then done. Start personal YouTube channel. Oh wait, to do. I'm moving that back to to do. So it's the same functionality that you'll see in your traditional Kanban. There are a couple of limitations with this. You can't move uh, the columns around and the and as I said before, it only operates on the block level unless there's something I'm missing, but I'm not so sure. What I would really like to be able to do is to be able to have this, have a global view of my database and move things into the career columns. So that would look 
a little bit different if I had to do that. So let me go to another example, Let's say Kanban desired. And I'm just going to open my, my journal up in the right sidebar. I'm going to do this a bit quickly. Sorry. So it's not going to go into the queries and whatever in great detail. And there we go. There's a couple of tasks that I've put into, and they are directly related to projects. So now I want to be able to bring all those things into this Kanban view that I'm going to create, but I'm not able to do that at the moment in Logseek. It has to be like a very laborious process. So what does it look like? Let me speed through it. So what I've done here is I've, con I've queried everything that is to do, doing and done. And that is what is showing up in my column. So now if I change these things to be uh, doing and this one to be done and then turn off table view. And now you can see each of those items in their proper order. So that is really not a great way to view it. It's not very accessible, but then what I'd be able to do is that I'd be able to query by different projects and statuses. So it's like a combination of those two things. So I'm going to show another way of doing this, which is on Airtable. So what I've done here is just build a demo Airtable database, which is looking at Kanban and I have divided it in, well, I have created two tables. The one is projects and the other one is tasks. So each of my projects is made up of a series of tasks. If I go to my tasks table, you can see the full detailed list of all my tasks over here. So again, it's, it's now focusing on that same block element where each line is a record or a block and I'm attaching pieces of information to each record. If I think about this, it's the same as using a hashtag done and the projects would be putting those projects in backlinks. So it's got that same linking structure of a database. It's just a purely relational database for this purpose that really meets my needs and enables me to edit the tasks at a high level, but then also move it into a Kanban. What I can do is create a Kanban view down here and then move things across by status. So I can choose status there. Let me collapse the stack over here. And the other beauty of this is that I can then filter where I want to only look at one project. So my project is a linked field, which says this task is linked to this project. Beautiful and simple. Let's say where my project contains run a marathon. They are all my tasks related to that project. And I can do this for all my different projects. Or I could just have this global view that will then, if I want to customize my cards, show what the project is there. And I really like this. I think Airtable is a fantastic software and highly recommend it to anyone. Now, just another point for other programs rather than Logseek, despite, you know, great additions by Kambalox, is that the Logseek team themselves are using Trello for their project management. So, you know, backlog to do, doing, testing, done, all done in Trello with this great visual board over here. The one gripe that I have about Airtable is that for some strange reason, the text doesn't wrap around. So if I added something here called, this is a super long box and won't wrap. And if I just add marathon so that you can't, can see it in a specific Kanban view, you can see there it doesn't wrap, which is what Trello does. So yeah, anyways, just a little grab, nothing too major. So I've spoken a little bit about Airtable and I just wanted to quickly get into what it costs for basic uses. It's free. So you get 1,200 records and you can think of that as the 1,200 tasks that you can access for free. But I'm not sponsored by Airtable. I just really love this platform. We use Airtable Pro version at work and that really allows us to do everything from manage projects to set up databases and, and set up workflows. So it's a really great tool, allows you to do many things in an organization, very versatile and very powerful. The last thing I'm going to say is that I saw this tweet the other day, which made me really excited. And it was from the Logseek team 
Someone had said logseek lets you output a table with their query function. If that table had notion slash Airtable super like powers, it could be the best of both worlds perhaps. And logseek said, we hope it's ready before 1.0.0. And that would be absolutely amazing. Hopefully that is the case. And then I won't have to have my personal Airtable database on the side and I can just use logseek for task management. And I think that would be the dream. So that's just my two cents on using Kanban and Hopefully this will help you install plugins. I'm really not the best placed person to answer any queries related to plugins. So if you do have any questions, head over to the Discord forum. It's a super helpful community. Thanks to Cannibal Locks for making that plugin. It's a super useful tool. I would also encourage you if you're using Obsidian, there is a very cool Obsidian Kanban plugin and that is featured in one of Santi Younger's videos. So head on over to that video. I'll also provide a link in the description and yeah. Looking forward to more Kanbanning in the future with Logseek, hopefully, so that I don't have to use multiple platforms. So thanks again for watching. I really appreciate the continued support and feedback. It really helps grow. If you enjoy the Airtable component and would like to see more of that, you know, I really think Airtable is a powerful tool and deserves a whole channel in and of itself, particularly like looking at how one might use it in the professional setup. I'm not sure I would include too much of that on one stuttering mind here, which I envisaged as a personal channel, but we'll see. Hopefully see you soon and thanks for watching.